Hello everyone, Kerry the Crafter here, that's C-E-R-I the Crafter, and I've got something slightly different for you today. So, um, this is my flower press. Now, I had one when I was a kid, um, and I think it was probably about four inches square, and filled with bits of paper and cor corrugated cardboard, and I have no idea where it was, but that would never have been big enough anyway. So I made this one last year. Now, if you're looking for the video on making this, stop right there, I didn't make one. Because I didn't think it actually merited making a video. At the end of the day, I've got two pieces of wood, I drilled a hole through the whole lot, I've got two sets of washers and I've got a wing nut and a bolt. I put little pads on the bottom purely to stop scratching any surface I have. And for me, I put some water uh, watercolour paper in the middle because it was absorbent. And that's as far as I went. And obviously I went to town and collaged the heck out of the cover. And I really love the cover. So anyway, so, so I have been putting stuff in this. Oh, probably... July, August, September, October last year, that's 2020. So a lot of the stuff has been in here for mm, at least, well, almost a year, if not more than a year. I can't work out what, what is the date today. I've completely lost the plot. Um, it's September, let's call it September. It is September. So um, some of the stuff in here has been in here a year, some a little more. And I haven't opened it. I just basically would go into my garden periodically Take a few things like rose leaves or rose petals or poppy petals or ferns. I know I collected quite a few ferns and put them in here because I've got ferns in the garden. I love ferns. So I thought it's time to have a little bit of a reveal. Find out what I've got in here. Now, I don't know what's happened between these pieces of wood and these pieces of paper. It could be a complete mildew disaster or I could have done what I hope, which is created some dried, flat um pieces of flowers and foliage that I can actually use to create my ephemera with and actually to create some of my Etsy digitals with because as you know I like to use my own stuff in digitals not someone else's so as I take them out of there I'm just going to put them in one of these big plastic trays and I've got some sheets of vellum so I'm going to put them on vellum now vellum's probably not not the perfect choice but it's all I've got here at the moment. So I went, okay, I don't want to put them on tissue. I thought, let's put them on vellum. So let's get to undoing the little nuts and bolts. Now, I do know from um, adding to this throughout the year that I wish I hadn't um, cut holes in all of the paper to thread it on and off with. I wish I'd have actually just cut them across. And you'll see what I mean in a minute when I get this, get this off. If I can get this off. There you go. I think the washers are loose. No, I'd leave the washers down. All the sensible of me. Right, let's put that up there out of my way. So as you can see, I drilled through all of the paper. I sandwiched it between the boards and drilled through because I thought that gives me maximum space. But to be honest with you, it's a bit pointless. I'm never going to put anything there anyway. So I might in the future just cut the corners off so pieces slip in. Now, I don't actually know at what point um, these pages are going to turn into pressed flowers. So I'm going to go a little bit careful because, as I said, I just don't know. I mean, I know I was adding to it, but as I wasn't out in nature or anything, I was only in my back garden, I'm not really sure how much of this I actually ended up saving. There's a green post-it note in here for some reason. I'm wondering whether... I put that in there to tell me that was where to start. Scary, isn't it? It was only last year and I've already forgotten. So, sorry, hopefully this bit isn't boring. If it is, just fast forward until you see some sort of plant life come out from one of these pages. We can't be, yeah, I've got to put this little green post-it note in there for a reason. And the only reason, oh, here we go. Oh, those are cute. I have no idea, oh wait, these are my white azaleas. I have an azalea plant in the garden, so how delicate are those? Ooh, I'm going to have fun with those. Yes, there will be scans of these, don't worry. Um, they'll be part of ephemera kits or um, digital backgrounds that I do. Actually, what I'll do is I don't want to be pulling at it. I'm going to get a fan brush and convince it to let go. 
with the fan brush or my nail maybe because it's really really stuck on there okay let's see if I can do this without damaging it wow those came out so fine didn't they Ooh, there you go okay note to self azaleas work really well in here oh I'm excited about those they're so delicate now when I come to create my digitals sometimes I will scan them and sometimes I will photograph them because sometimes the scan my my printer when it scans doesn't give me as much detail as I actually have um, on the actual pieces which is why I sometimes choose to photograph them instead I'm loving these okay so that's what that green bit of paper was so that means from here on in we should have loads and loads of surprises so let's just we are in screen aren't we I could probably move that up a bit for you there you go, see if that helps. Right, da, da, da. and let's flip this one back. Ooh, loving these. Okay, right. This was the lily of the valley that I had in the garden. Ooh, I'm loving this. Come on up here, come. That's beautiful. Lily of the valley. I didn't expect it to stay white, so I'm not disappointed that it's changed to a cream colour. But I do love that loving those this was a good experiment I'll be doing this again this year right that has got to be a geranium I'm guessing that looks like a geranium to me we have geraniums in the garden so and it's it's I think that's a geranium now these things and I know there's some botanist out there going oh why is he doing this if he doesn't know the name I want to say well, they're just, just a plant that grows in, in our wall, to be honest. They've got all these little purple bells on them, which, if my slight knowledge of botanicals goes, that means they're probably called Campanella something, because Campanella means bell. Also, I'm led to believe. Um, I could find out what these are. I can't get of how delicate they are. I mean, they're just... Is it look, if I lift this up, is it better? I just don't like, I'm looking through my iPad, but I can't tell whether it's focused or not. I think those are gorgeous. Oh, this was such a good idea. I think, before I start turning them into anything, I might lay them out on some paper and photograph them as if they're um, natural papers. Do you know what I mean? Um, as if they're handmade papers. And I lay these pieces across the top photograph them and then turn them into digital so we can actually use them as backgrounds um, in our signatures. I'm liking that idea already. Right. Message to Kerry. I need to make a post-it note of that one because I will never remember that. There you go. So does anyone else dry flowers or press flowers? I used to dry flowers but I found that um, they just ended up collecting dust, you know what I mean? I, I didn't actually do anything with them. Where, as I think these pressed flowers are going to be very, very useful. Oh, look, there's, some, there's another one of the... I wasn't sure that was actually going to dry, to be honest. That was Lily of the Valley, and I thought, oh, maybe it's a bit too fleshy. Um, but no, that came out. Right, let's get these little ones off. I chose to use watercolour paper for this because I thought that's probably more absorbent. I think slightly as well, I was hoping that maybe some of the colour would leach into the watercolour paper, and I could also use that, but I'm guessing that didn't happen. But you know what, I'm more than happy with what did. Right, what's this? I want to say it's part of my lavender plant. I've got three lavender plants in the garden because I keep them for the insects, the bees, so that's cool, I like that as well. Right, what's on the next page? Okay, I'm already liking this video. Let's thread that off. And is there anything stuck to the back of this one? Oh, look! Oh. We have orange poppies here in Wales. And my garden is full of orange poppies at the right time of year. And apparently, California has orange poppies as well. And I don't know why both of us have got them. Oh, look, all of them came out. Oh, I'm way happy with that. Right, I need another bit of parchment because I'll give you a quick look before I go to the next layer. I'm so 
I'm stoked guys, I'm excited. So I like it when a plan comes together. So I'm loving these. They are so delicate. Wow. Ooh, my mind is going a hundred to a dozen now trying to think, right, what can I do with them? How can I use them? Should I, what should I do next year? I think next year I need to be a bit more diligent about keeping my own, oh, isn't that lovely? Keeping my eyes open in nature and even if I get given a bunch of flowers or something to go, right, what can I use off there to put into my flower press? Oh, there's more of the lavender. Now, those are going to be useful, actually. I can see those up against book, but actually, a project on the go. There you go, up against a bit of book page. That's going to look stunning. I'm loving, loving, loving that. Right, let's put that back down again. So that's lavender. More lavender. More lavender. And more lavender. I've got lots of lavender in my garden, guys. Lots of lavender. My, my garden smells incredible. And sometimes I save the seed heads as well. And we have little things in our lin linen cupboards. Right, I think I'm going to need to be careful with these. But those are absolutely delicious. Let's put that on that one. I mean, look how delicate that little frong is. Frong, frong, I can never say it. Oh, gonna love using that. I, get the, I think I get the little ones off and onto this piece of parchment and then I'll have to actually start a new piece of parchment. I'm so excited about these. These are absolutely glorious. I'm going to have so much fun with this. Yeah, right, so before I put the next layer on, there you go. I'm liking the fact that they all show through the parchment too. Oh, we might be discovering something new here, guys. I'm loving that. Right, another bit of parchment. I may have to get more parchment out of the cupboard in a moment. But loving this. That's just absolutely... I just love this. Sorry, I'm, I'm having a moment. Ignore me, but I'm excited about this. So let's pull this one up so I can lift the whole thing up to you. And I tried to not only pick straight ones, obviously, because I thought there's going to be bits where this can curve around the corner or maybe a cameo in the middle or something. I'm absolutely loving this. Ooh. When I get time, which always seems to be my enemy, to do some new products for Etsy, then these are going to feature on this. Oh, what are these? Oh, I wonder what these are. They're lovely, but I can't remember. What they are. are they maple leaves, do you think? Maybe they're maple. Oh, it's almost awesome. I should really go to my local park and pick up some of the maple leaves they have there when they fall because they're beautiful colours this time of year. Actually, probably about another month, I should imagine. I'm loving that. Oh, I'm so excited. Sorry, this is Kerry in a gushing mood. I don't normally get this gushy about things, but I'm sorry, these are not apologising at all. These are absolutely stunning, and I'm way, way happy with them. I'm loving this. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't. You didn't break. I love you. Ooh. This was one of those things I did on the spur of the moment. I thought, you know what? I, I was looking at Etsy thinking I need to buy some dried flowers. And I kept coming across pressed flowers. And I thought, why am I paying someone else to supply me with pressed flowers when I have a garden, I've got some know-how. I know how to, the general know-how of how to create a flower press. So why the heck aren't I doing it? So I did it. And here's my reward. I'm so excited. So excited. So. I'm loving that. Now, I remember when I was a kid, before I even had the first flower press, which is that little four inch square one, I think they gave it to me just to shut me up really. Um, I remember we used to close things into the pages. We had a big family Bible, which I have no idea what that family Bible is now, but the thing was about this thick, a massive thing. And we also had a whole set of encyclopedias. So we used to stack things between those. We didn't have a lot of money as kids. Um, there wasn't a lot of toys or anything. We had to be really creative with what we did. So a lot of the time we just played in the garden with Mother Nature and whatever we found. So, And I think that's part of where my creativity comes from. So here you go. This this layer. 
So anyway, so we used to use the encyclopedias to squash numerous things. And I'm ashamed to say we probably squashed a few spiders and bugs along the way. Um, no butterflies were harmed though, I can absolutely guarantee this. Oh look, the little bealia came out. Right, I need another sheet of parchment. Where's the parchment gone? There you go. Right, these I don't think were this colour when we started. I think these were... I don't know what colour these were. I'm definitely going to do some fake pages as if they're handmade papers. Well, this one's got a hint of purple in it, so this has got to be one of the lobelia I put in there. I tell you what, those little lobelia plants, uh, flowers are so small, they're not the easiest things to pick up. Oh, look at these, the blue lobelia stayed. Right, let's see if I can get these off the page. So, this was lobelia. I sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I? How delicate is that? So cute. So, um, I don't think I'd be able to glue these to anything. I think whenever I do these, I'm going to have to just rest them. Although I do think, I'm absolutely certain, I saw Tracy from Love Junk Journal. She might have put some in sample slides and just glued them in place with a little bit of Pritt stick or something. I can't remember. I have to go back and have a look at that. I love the fact that some of the lobelia have kept their colour on them. This is going to become addictive, isn't it? I can absolutely see this. Even even this one that's not great is great. So, oh, look at this one. How sweet is that with all the blue speckles on it? I'm lucky to have kept that one that colour. And up here come. That's another one. A little bit of purple on it. I think I need to take a little more care when I do it next time to actually try and lie the flowers or lay the flowers so they're more flat and not just put them in, squash them down, which is what I probably did. So, oh, I'm loving that one. That's just such a beautiful blue colour. Right, let's take this off here. Let's try and speed up a bit. Hopefully you're not bored, guys. Um, to be honest with you, I'm just excited that this experiment worked. Right, what are these? Okay, these, these are leaves off my strawberry plants. I've got um, hanging baskets along my wall, which I grow strawberries in. So I must have just grabbed a few of these interesting leaves and I must have just grabbed them to put them in here. Um, that's obviously a rose leaf. Liking that, because I've got some photographs of roses already um, that I'm going to use in digital. So that means I've got leaves to go with it. I wonder what these, oh wait, I know what these are. These are the leaves of the poppies. So there you go. That's a poppy leaf as well, or at least the type of poppies I have here, that's the leaf of it. Here are these little ones again. These look like little grape leaves, but I don't have any grapes. So I'm assuming they're tree leaves. I'm almost certain. There are quite a few trees in the park down the road from us and we do tend to get them blowing into the garden so it wouldn't surprise me if I wasn't down there picking up some tree leaves. I'm loving the fact that these little delicate ones, they're so sweet. So there you go. You'll see I don't want to keep on doing other things now, I want to get on with the stuff I'm fancying doing with these. Maybe if I photographed them on pieces of linen and that would give a texture to the background as well. That sounds kind of cool. Right, what are you? I don't even recognise you other than you're a leaf. Don't know what that one's from. Just random leaves there I'm feeling. Just random leaves, okay? Who knows what they were from? Right, what's on the next one? Got many more to go? Not a huge amount, but I'm enjoying myself and I'm taking you along for the journey. Oh, look, those are more poppy leaves. I must have been on a foliage hunt and not flower hunt. It almost feels like it's stuck. Oh, no, it doesn't, because I've got lots of greenery. Hey, that's not a problem with me though. Ooh, what was, oh, that was a crocus. I think that's a crocus. That's going back some. That's, I must have started this about February or March then. 
to have crocus involved. But that is a crocus. Please come off. And obviously a purple crocus. Loving, loving, loving that. That's more of the poppy leaves. Poppy leaf. And what's on the back of here? Nothing. Right, let's just pull this one in for you to see. I think the kid did good. Right, are there any more? Oh, wait, there are more pages. I thought we were at the end. Okay, I have no... Oh, wait, is that a little violet? That must have been a violet. We have um, some wild violets in my garden that... Uh, my grandmother had wild, wild violets in her garden, and I remember we actually... She gave us some basically for our garden and we've always had them in our garden and I've got got them in the borders and I've got them in pots as well. And it's funny because they always come out for Mother's Day and they were one of my mother's favourite flowers when she was alive. So I'm glad I've got those dried. They're cute. They're so gorgeous. I'm loving those. They're so delicate. Me and my big fat fingers, I can tell you I'm going to have to be so careful I don't break these. Yeah, I do feel a photographic session coming on here, guys. I mean, I could just lay them on my scanner, but I really don't think it would do them do them justice. Right, there's, there's another little violet. Right, let's put another sheet of parchment on top of that one. I chose parchment because... A, it was the only thing I thought that would work. And also parchment has a certain weight to it. Right, these were the violet leaves. So those are cute. So I'm hoping this camera is focusing. I do apologise if it isn't. I just, I just don't know how else to do this. Now those, don't ask me. Um, I know that I bought some little bulbs last year and I planted them into a pot and they were supposed to be little blue flowers and I think these are the little blue flowers but I'm absolutely at a loss as to tell you what the little blue flowers are called because I don't know and did I keep the packaging heck no that's not not the way I work so I'm a bit of a tidy person so if I've got a bit of spare packaging and it's no good for junk journaling it goes straight in the trash so more fool me because I'd know what these were called then. I'm loving that. Can you imagine that? Oh, we've got a tag around here. A bit of spare tag. Let's just pull a random tag out. There you go. Okay, that, that warms my whole, whole heart, that does. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love that. There you go. Let's put that in the box as well. I've got to be coming to the end of this. I didn't think I collected this much, let alone more. I think it's a couple more pages, but I, I must have been a bit more productive than I thought I was being. Or maybe I'm not. Wait a minute. We may have come to the end. Oh, no. I've got more. Oh, look. Leaves. Well, these are obviously ficus leaves, I think those are called. They're off a pot plant that I've actually got in the room behind me. It's a variegated ficus. Yeah. Oh, look, that's a lovely colour, that. I wonder what that's from. My blueberry bush. That's off my blueberry bush. There you go. Note to self, collect those when they come out because they keep their colour. OK, I'm learning as we go here. Right, let's quickly speed up with these ficus ones because they're just variegated leaves. Stunningly beautiful as they are. I want to see what's on the next page. Oh, ivy. I must have put some ivy in here. Oh, I like that side. Oh, note to self, put it face down. It keeps its colour. OK, I've got ivy growing in the garden at the moment. We try to keep control of ivy because, as everyone says, it can tear walls apart. Oh, rose leaves. Loving the rose leaves. Loving the rose leaves. It's funny because everything is just so flat. I'm used to plant life being dimensional, but look at that. That's just absolutely flat. Yeah, that tickles me. All right, let's take the rose leaves off here. 
I don't think I need to be saving any rose leaves next year. I've got a heck of a lot of rose leaves here. But I do need to get more colourful leaves, I think. Okay, right. So that's where we got to with this layer. I do hope this thing is focusing. We were well upset if I watched this video back and it was all blurry. But I can't redo the video because it's all about the video as it is. So let me just get another sheet of vellum out of the filing cabinet. Pop that on there. So let's see. I'm wondering what's underneath this one. Ooh, big rose leaves. Oh, I was on a mission when I collected these, wasn't I? Um, not sure that I'm going to need big leaves, but I've got them. Maybe I'll just snip the individual leaves off. Or maybe I'll just photo photograph them or scan them and shrink them down in size and make them into a digital for my own use. Right. Come on, guys. I've got to be at the end by now. I'm loving this, but now I, I want to move on. <gasps> what? Okay, these have got to be rose leaves. And not rose leaves, rose petals. I do remember getting yellow roses for my birthday. Heck, that's going back to last January. I must have done this a long time before I thought I had. Oh, I'm loving this. These are going to look stunning. I'm going to have so much fun creating, guys. Does anyone else get this excited about simple things? I'm loving that. And they kept their colour perfectly. Gosh, I've got to I've got to deconstruct roses in the future when they when they come in a bouquet or something and just press the petals because these are gorgeous colour. Absolutely a gorgeous colour. They actually still have a little bit of flexibility about flexibility about them as well. I thought they'd be really dry and brittle, but they're actually not. They've got I mean, they probably would end up snapping if I played around with them too much. I am loving these. Not 100% certain how I would... I suppose if I did a vintage spread and scattered the odd rose petals around it, that would be cute. Yeah, my little brain is going 100 to a dozen here, trying to think of different ways to use these. I don't even remember doing this. I really didn't remember this. So happy, though. Let's see if I can get a couple more in there before I have to put another piece of vellum on. One more piece in there. I mean, this one's broken or folded under, but even that's cute. So, there you go. I love the colour of them. There's... They're almost like tea dyed or coffee dyed petals. Right, another strip of vellum. Ooh, or two strips of vellum, or if you want to pick up first, Griffiths. Right, let's get these ones off here so we can see what's underneath this one. Come on, up you come. I should really have tried to press some daisies last year because I like I like daisies um, and they're all over the place but I just didn't even think to pick them up we don't have them in my garden um, but they're everywhere they're on they're just everywhere like public areas they just grow wherever the grass is really I should try and pick a few daisies and press daisies for next year because they'd be really sweet as well right oh you probably can't see it in fact, I'd be really shocked if my iPad picks up. But I can see the slight yellow colour to this watercolour paper. Maybe over the years of using this, it'll eventually colour up and become sort of a... Oh, that was the last one. Okay. Right, well, I think I am more than excited by the fact that I got all of that out of just walking into my garden periodically and plucking a few petals and leaves and when when a bouquet of flowers came into the house, deconstructing the flowers and putting them in there. So I'm very happy with that. I mean, how long did that take? Not even half an hour. There you go, guys. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed that. I mean, I, I will start the journey of putting this back together again and adding more flowers as I go. Um, 
as I said, the, this was purely an experiment. I wanted to make um, a flower press, and so I did. And I'll, I'll do that in a minute because that's going to drive me nuts if I'm trying to struggle on screen doing that. So if it's something you think you want to do, just go ahead and do it. Have have fun with it. I mean, you could have. I could have sandwiched them between kitchen paper, but I didn't. Obviously, I used. I think I must have had a load of. Um, watercolor paper from a project left over and that's that's why I did it on watercolor paper but obviously it doesn't need to be watercolor paper I think back in the day we used to even sandwich them between newspaper which was probably not a great idea because you probably got newsprint on your flowers but then you know oh, that's that's an interesting thought just there isn't it um news or oh, maybe I can stamp onto those rose leaves or rose petals That'd be an experiment, wouldn't it? I could stamp onto the rose petals. I wonder how far away are my stamps? Right, let me just get this last one on here. I'm, I'm having a thought, guys. I don't know whether this is going to work or not. Right, moving that out of the way. Have a quick wipe down because I've got stuff all over the place. Sorry about that. Busy seeing me clean up. Right, where is... Where are stamps? Stamps, stamps, stamps. Right. Let me just get some. Right, we're going for Brown Archival. Uh... Right, and I've got a script stamp. Right, we're going to do a little live experiment here. Right, I'm just going to get a piece of just regular paper because I don't want I don't want ink on my mat, and I'm going to come in. And I'm going to lay a couple, lay, lie, lay or lie, lay. I think the word is lay. I'm going to lay a couple of these bigger petals. Come on up here, come. On here. Just because I've got a lot of these petals, so I can have a little bit of an experiment, I feel. Right, let's just take one, one more, two more. Let's do odd numbers. I like odd numbers. Um, so we'll get that one out of there. Okay, so right, leave that like that. Put that bit of vellum back on top of there. Um, this is just archival. First one I pulled out, not even trying to be clever or anything. I'm just pulling it out. This is a Tim Holt stamp. Um, well, it's half of a Tim Holt stamp. There's another half on the other side. Let's just... Let's just have a little experiment, shall we? I'm almost certain this is going to work, but whether it's going to stick to the petals and I won't get them off is what's worrying me. Right, press that down, let it sit for a second because obviously it's not paper, so I'm wondering whether it's going to soak in or not. Right, let's carefully, carefully lift this up. <gasps> Okay, let's get, um, okay, Kerry needs a clean bit of paper. Why is it I can never find anything when I want it? Right, clean bit of paper. Okay, so let's slip those across to there. There you go, how sweet is that? And please focus on this, Mr. Mr. iPad. Look at that, I've got text, well, I've lost one. I've got text stamped onto rose petals. You know I'm gonna have fun with this. Okay, right, I'm going to stop this here, I think, because otherwise this video is going to be hugely long and it was never supposed to be a craft along or a tutorial or anything. Um, but this is just how my imagination works. And I see an idea, I go for an idea, and that's how we get ideas and new things. So I'm going to wind up now. Um, if you like this video, I'd love you to subscribe. This is where you like, share, thumbs up whatever you wish to do, and all positive comments are welcome. Negative comments will be dealt with. I can tell you I will just delete your comments and ban you if you start doing bad comments with me. And you don't normally, so I'm not really worried about this. Um, that's where you can get hold of me. If you need to contact me, either via Facebook or there is a contact sheet on my website. That's my Etsy shop, which is where those dried pieces will eventually end up. But if you're on Facebook and you follow me, you will know that anyway. Go to the crafter, I'll notify you of everything. So, thank you very much, guys. Um, as I said, a bit unusual, took you on the journey. I really enjoyed myself. Hope you found it interesting. And 
I didn't know you could stamp onto petals. So I'm happy with that. So have a good one, guys. Um, this is Kerry the Crafter. That's C-E-R-I saying goodbye. Bye-bye now.